Okay, setting a pistol up for speed for both open and concealed carry. What you're looking at now is open carry. So I'm going to show you concealed carry later. Number one, the holster. The holster that you pick. I picked the Limb Saver holster here. It's rubber. If you guys know anything about rubber, to clean rubber to make it more sticky again. Uh, you clean it with soap and water. Now this is the heat shrinkable type, but I decided not to do the heat shrink on this Limb Saver here comes with uh, screws and stuff so you can adjust your tension, your depth, all kinds of things. So the number one thing is the holster. Number two is the position. Okay, this is the right front pocket. The clips fit right down in your run, right front pocket right there. There's the clips right there. So it uh, it's a little bit higher than a low ride holster. Okay, um, the weight, I'm, I'm reading from a list here. I put down a lot of things here. Okay, the weight of the firearm matters because the lighter the firearm is, the faster you can get it out, okay? The travel of the firearm. The travel from here to here, the distance, the shorter the barrel is, the faster you can get it out. Okay, so that's travel. Three-finger grip. You have to be able to get a three-finger grip so you can get a hold of that grip so you can pull it out. Now, you can get away with it on some pistols, but it's nice to be able to have three fingers. So that's a rule you should practice is, is when you're carrying something, see if you got something you get three fingers around. Uh, One-inch gap to grip. Okay, from here to here, the firearm... From here to here, the firearm should have at least one inch so you can get your hand in there. Because if this is touching here, you can't get your hand in there. And then also one inch away from the body. Now, this limb saver is going to hang a little bit forward like this. So I've got one inch so I can get my hand around it. See? And actually, I'd be, I'd be using my other hand. I'm using my left hand right now to show you. But anyway, my, my index finger would be alongside here if I was showing you with my right hand, but I'm holding the camera with the right hand. So what I'm saying is you need to be able to get a hold of the firearm around the grip. You need one inch clearance here. You need one inch clearance from here to your body. If you're up against your body, what happens is you have to shoehorn around here to get around the grip. And if you already have a gap there, you can get right in there and get that firearm, okay? So one inch gap to grip, one inch gap to body, clothing. Okay, what you're looking at is open carry. And typically I'll wear a, I'll wear a sweatshirt that comes down to here. So I don't wear too long of clothes as far as shirts and jackets. I make sure that they come down far enough, but not too far down. Because the more clothing you have to move, the harder and the slower it is to get the firearm out. So open carry would look like that. Now once again, it'd be leaning forward a little bit here so I could get a hold of it and get it out. That's open carry. Concealed carry, the seam line right here, stops right about there. So technically you can call this still open carry, but I consider it concealed carry. Now this part we can color in with some jean material right here that I can put on here, take these screws off, and if I put jean material on there, you wouldn't even know that it was part of a holster. So if I was going to conceal a little better, I could actually find a way to cover this up with some blue jean material. Now, the best thing about this holster, right front pocket, is it's very quick because your hand is naturally right here. So when I'm walking, my right hand, my right hand is right my fingertips stop right here. Look at how close I am to that grip. I just come up and I can get inside there. Okay. Now usually what I'm doing to pull away the clothing, what I'm doing is over here I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up as high as I can and then I get in like that. But my hand is right here. Notice how close my, my natural swinging hands 
you know, when you walk, your right hand is going to be along your seam line, and it's going to be right about here. Look at how close my hand is to the firearm. I can get to it very quickly, probably even faster than a drop leg holster. So these are things that uh, make you fast. Now, the disadvantage, yes, it's a small, you know, Ruger LCP 380. I know that. Yes, it probably doesn't have the capacity some of you guys want. But you have extra magazines. And you got to use your shots wisely. You have to train. Okay? <clears throat> and yes, it's a short-barreled pistol, but you want to practice at them seven-yard ranges. This is an up-close personal setup here for speed, for getting that first shot before they can get a shot on you. But situational awareness is the same as speed. So that's the number one thing for speed is your situational awareness. That will make you much faster uh, than the bad guy is. So with that being said, this is just one setup for me that I do for speed for a small firearm. And sometimes I'll have the burst of thunder in there, some other firearms in there that are smaller with three inch barrels. Um, but I also have another gun on me that I carry cross draw if I have a jacket or something. So it's winter time now. I'll have this one plus I'll have another one cross draw on my jacket. So this one here can get things started but the but the one for the real social work will probably be in my jacket. But since this one is lightning fast I can get it out quicker and I can start making shots quicker because of the fact that most defense situations are within seven yards. Now we do practice at longer range I do take this Ruger out and I do shoot longer distances and stuff just to be ready in case I should have to take a longer shot. But that's one of the reasons why I have another gun with me. So when it's winter time and you have a lot of clothing and stuff, you can pack a couple guns real easy. In the summertime, it gets a little more difficult, but you can still kind of manage it with a fishing jacket or something like that. But the whole concept for this was basically something that can give you some speed. And that's why I gave these eight points uh, to you to tell you how you can set up for that. One of, the, one of the best things about this, though, is whenever you have a shirt or a jacket, as long as it doesn't go too far down here, you can, you can get it up faster. You can get the firearm out quicker. Now, if you have something that goes down further and further, depending on the clothing, it might be more of a challenge. So... You always want to wear jackets and t-shirts and uh, sweatshirts that make you fast. You want to find out which one makes you the fastest if you should have to draw your firearm. But anyway, that's, uh, that's how you set up for speed right there. So even though it's a small firearm, it is uh, definitely a fast setup.